What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the power of curves using GIMP. And this is the image that we're going to work with today. So let's start, we are going to open up the curves menu and you can do so by going to colors and then go to curves and then here you have it. It's basically set to the alpha channel, that's standard default and you can change it to the red, green and blue channel as well. I'm going to leave it on the alpha channel right now. You can also upload presets that you've made before but I don't have any presets so we're going to work with the image as is. I'm going to show you guys what does what. So these are the shadows, these are the midtones, and these are just the highlights. Now watch what happens if I grab the point of the highlights and I drag it all the way down, like so. The highlights are being decreased and there's no more pure white in the image. If I move it the other way around, like so, you see that the image becomes very bright and the white points shifts. So let me go back to the standard words by hitting the reset button. And now it's back to how we had it. Now let me click the split view. So one side will be adjusted and the other side will stay the same. Same goes for the midtones. So if I drag the midtones up like so, the midtones are going to become a lot more brighter. And if I drag it all the way down like so, the midtones become darker as you can see in the grass. So the grass is the midtones. Um, his fur, the black side of it is the shadows and the white fur is like the highlights and this spot on his tongue as well. So let me reset that as well. And now watch what happens if I drag this black point up like so. The image becomes very faded out and you bring the black point towards the white and if you drag it all the way down like so, you're really going to crush the blacks moving the black point the other way around. So that's what happens with the image if you use the alpha channel so let me reset that and now everything is back to the same so let's say you want to increase the contrast of this picture a little bit i want to adjust this point right here so i know that will be in this area of the image so if i drag this down a little bit his skin becomes a bit more dark and the image is getting a lot more contrast but if i drag the highlights up like so creating a standard S curve, the difference becomes even more noticeable because uh, watch what happens. Left side is the new side, right side is the original side. So let me switch this over and now let me switch this back again. There you go. So there's a huge difference. Uh, same goes for the midtones. I can drag them up, but that affects the blacks a little bit as well. Same goes if I drag it down. A lot more contrast being introduced into the grass like so. I kind of like how this looks. It's a little bit dark, but it definitely looks better than it was before because this is very faded out the right side and the left side is a lot more clearer. Now let me reset that. Let me place this back in the middle like so. So let's say you want to adjust the colors. I'm going to show you guys how to do that next. So for that, you need to change the channel to let's say red. And if you move this point upwards that means that red is being introduced into the image or basically into the shadows like so and if you move it the other way around reds are being decreased and blue is being added into the image that gives it a bit of a uh, a vintage type look if you ask me so let me reset that same goes for the midtone so watch what happens to the grass the grass is now green and i'm going to drag it down like so the grass becomes a bit more blue and if I introduce red, the grass becomes a bit more yellow like. But that's because it'll mix the reds with the greens and that's how you get blue. So let me reset that. Same goes for the highlights. If I drag it this way, reds are being introduced into the highlights like so. And if I drag it all the way down, blue is being introduced into the highlights. So that's what happens if you use the red channel. So let me reset that. And that's how you can add several colors or a color scheme. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let's go to the green channel and watch what happens. So here's the shadows, here's the midtones, and here are the highlights. Now watch what happens if I drag the highlights to the left. Greens are being introduced into the image. The grass is a lot more greener than it was before. 
and watch what happens if I drag it all the way down. Then everything turns magenta, like so. Now let me reset that. Same goes for the shadows. So if I drag this up, greens are being introduced into the shadows and the darker pixels. If I drag it to the right, like so, magenta is being introduced. So now Nacho is no longer black, but he's having a magenta type look. So let me reset that. Let me go back to the blue channel. And same goes for here. So we're going to increase this point to introduce blues into the darker pixels, into the shadows, as you can see happening right now. And if I drag it all the way to the right, blue is being decreased and yellow is being introduced into the image. So the grass stands out a bit more and Nacho looks a bit ill if you ask me. So let me reset that. Same goes for the highlights. So let me drag it to the left for you guys to show what happens. Now he's getting a blue type look and the grass is blue. And now if I drag it this way, you see that yellow is being introduced into the image. So let's reset that. Now let's give this a color scheme. I'm using the orange and teal a lot, but that's because it's one of the easiest things to do. And for that, you want to increase the blues into the shadows. You want to decrease the blues into the highlights. And you want to, let's go to the red channel. You want to decrease the reds in the shadows. And you want to increase the reds in the highlights. So I'm going to show you guys how that, how that looks. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit. I'm going to drag this up a little bit, like so. Now the image is changing very subtly. You can't really tell just yet. So let's go to the blue channel. And for the blue channel, I want to do the exact opposite. I want to increase the blues into the shadows and I want to decrease the blues into the highlights. So for that, I'm going to click this point, drag it up like so. And I'm going to drag this point and drag it down like so. Try to make sure that it kind of mirrors uh, the red line or the red line mirrors the blue line, whatever you start first with. Now, as you can see, the shadows got a blue tint, the midtones got a teal tint as well, and the highlights are getting an orange type, yellow type tint. I can drag this down a little bit just to introduce more yellow into the image. And let's increase the red channel and let's increase the highlights here as well, like so. Because Nacho is a very dark dog, uh, you won't see a lot of change, but the change is definitely there because let me show you guys the before and after. So I'm dragging this to the left. So now we see the original image without an edit. And if I drag this to the right, like so, now you see the edit happening like an overlay. And it looks very vintage like, and I kind of like how this looks a lot. So that's how you can use the curves menu in GIMP and how you can use it to change the contrast and how you can use it to change the colors. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei! Thank you.